What's up you guys? Welcome back to the channel or welcome if you're new. My name is Haley. This is Robin Haley and this video I am sharing what I eat in a week on a calorie deficit diet to lose weight. So I usually don't share a ton about this, but I found it really helpful sharing and also connecting with people who are on a similar, like in a similar position. So I wanted to share. So I, like many people, gained some weight during quarantine and everything that happened in 2020. And I just don't feel like myself. And so I am working on eating healthier. A big part of that I am working on being in a calorie deficit on a daily basis to kind of lose some of that weight while still eating like foods that I enjoy, which is why I like the calorie deficit diet because you can eat whatever you want as long as you're in a calorie deficit. So I can still eat my dessert. I don't have to cut out carbs or sugar or any of that. Just have to stay in a calorie deficit and it really encourages me to work out more because the more I work out, the more I can eat. So I decided to just share what I eat in a day for a week with you guys. Um, I'll walk you through like what I have for breakfast, lunch, dinner, snacks, and dessert. Um, and yeah, so I just wanna do that quick little intro before we get into it. I hope you guys enjoy this video. If you do, please be sure to leave a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe, join our YouTube family. We'd love to have you. And yeah, let's get into the video. Will I cry? breakfast on Monday, I had this delicious homemade acai bowl. I actually shared a video on how to make it last week, so I will link that here for you guys to watch, but it was so good and low calorie because it had lots of fruit. For this lunch, I decided to go with a classic peanut butter and jelly on this whole wheat sourdough bread. I also had some carrots with this Trader Joe's avocado tzatziki dip and then I added some mango chunks as well. This was delicious and not super high calorie either. Dinner on Monday was half of a Jersey Mike sandwich along with these chili lime tortilla rolls from Trader Joe's. Delicious, and I only had half because it definitely is higher calories. So you will see every morning I make this Ningxia Red and Zing drink. This is my version of coffee. Ningxia Red has a ton of antioxidants and supports your immune system as well as gives you some energy. And Zing is a natural energy drink. It is the only amount of caffeine I can tolerate, so I drink that every day. This breakfast was a cookie butter microwave baked oats, and that recipe is coming in a video soon. And then lunch this day, I had the exact same thing as dinner the night before, just the other half of my sandwich. So dinner this day, I was gonna make something, but then got really tired and hungry, so instead I just made another peanut butter and jelly sandwich. This week I was really on that kick, and I don't know why, but I had it with a sliced tangelo and some of these chili lime tortilla crisps from Trader Joe's. They are so delicious, and I really like them to add a crunch to meals. For breakfast on Wednesday, I had some yogurt. I like this non-fat plain Greek yogurt because it's a lot lower calorie without being flavored. And I add pomegranate seeds and some granola on top to give it that flavor. And it's a really good low calorie breakfast. Lunch was another sandwich, but this time it was a turkey sandwich. I again used this whole wheat sourdough bread and I put some turkey and pesto sauce as you will see. I also cut up some mini sweet bell peppers and had that with some avocado tzatziki dip 
and I really like trying to have some sort of fruit and or veggie with my lunch because it just fills you up a little bit more and keeps you full for a little bit longer. This day I had a snack in the late afternoon. I had one serving size of pretzels with some avocado tzatziki dip and some Easter candy. Dinner this day was leftover food from Easter. So we had this homemade bread that my mom's friend made. We got to take some home after Easter as well as some honey baked ham, mashed potatoes and asparagus wrapped in prosciutto. So this was actually a challenging dinner for me because it was definitely higher calorie food, but I just limited what we had because we only had so much leftovers and I ended up being really full afterwards. So on Thursday, I woke up a little bit later than I wanted to and I was really hungry before my workout. So I filled up a big glass of water and had one of these built bars. I am obsessed with these protein bars. My friend Ashley from Fit Busy Bee got me onto them and I love them because they are so delicious and very low calorie while still being high in protein. So I had one of these before my workout and after my workout, once I was all done, I had my Ningxia Red. For lunch, I had a Greek chicken bowl. This meal is actually a meal that my sister told me about, showed me, and you basically take some cooked chicken, put it on top of some brown rice, and you could also do quinoa or something like that. And then you add in some cherry tomatoes, some mini cucumbers, feta cheese, and top it with Trader Joe's everything but the bagel Greek yogurt dip. It is super filling and really delicious. And then for a snack later that day, I had another piece of Easter candy and these chili lime tortilla roll-ups, which obviously you guys know by now I love. Dinner was this super simple chicken stir fry. You just cook up some green beans and corn, add in your chicken, and then we used a stir fry sauce from Trader Joe's and it was so delicious. This night, I was still hungry for some reason before I went to bed, so I decided to just cut up another tangelo to kind of curb that craving. And finally, Friday breakfast was this strawberry cheesecake baked oats, and this is also coming in a video later this week, but it was so yummy. And then, you guessed it, lunch was once again a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. I really don't know why I was on this kick this week, but it was just something simple that I could make quickly, and so I kept eating them. And you know, it is a little bit higher calorie. Um, you don't get as much of those calorie dense foods with it, but it is pretty filling and keeps you full for a while. So it's yummy and it stayed within my calorie budget. So I was fine with it. On Friday, we decided to have a little afternoon snack, so I had some low-fat potato chips that I had gotten from Trader Joe's, and then I got this spinach and kale Greek yogurt dip to have with it, and I just used the portion size, and you know, sometimes you just need to fill that craving. I'm a big proponent of 
not cutting out any foods entirely because then you just end up craving them. So, you know, if you stay within your calorie budget and just have the serving size, it should be totally fine and you should be able to eat foods that you enjoy. And then for dinner on Friday, we had the TikTok feta pasta. Um, I forgot to get a video of it, but it is so delicious and we love having it. So that was our dinner. And then I did have some chocolate for dessert while watching a movie on Friday night. And that was what I ate in a week. <laughs> 